Hey everybody, Cam Callender here. Gonna get started in just a minute. Um, just wanted to cover a couple of things of how I actually set up and book my flights. So hopefully you can see my screen. Make sure that it is sharing. All right, so hopefully you can see my screen. But I'm, I'm not sure if many of you know, but uh, Google actually searches flights. Um, if you go to google.com forward slash flights, you can search flights. This is how I search all of my flights um, to find different pricings um, and also let you track pricing. Uh, so if you click on that, it'll track your trip that you want to fly. Uh, but you just type in where you want to go. Um, the other thing, it'll give you the airport code. And that's very helpful. And I'll show you the second step in actually booking the flight, which I book on the iGo platform. So I'll show you how to do that as well. But essentially, once you're looking at a flight, so I'm looking at Phoenix to Orlando because I'm going there next year for a cruise. Um, but basically looking at the flight, once you put in your dates, you know, you round trip, you know, if you want round trip one way, how many passengers, what style you want to fly. But once you select your dates, it will give you a breakdown price of averages, prices of flights for each day of the month that they have Google has stored and they have the averages of those prices of flights based on different dates throughout the month. So you can look at an entire month of when you want to travel and see the best days to fly. So it'll give you those average of average of prices. So you definitely want to look at that. And this is how I search and pick, you know, which days, if you're flexible on your days, this is one of the best ways to look at flights because you can look at a bunch of different days at the time and say if you're choosing between two different weekends or something of that nature, you can come in here and look and see how much those flights are going to cost you across any given day. And it'll give you the average of what those flights are going to be once you select your dates. And then once you've actually gotten this searched out and selected, then the next piece, if you're not already on the platform, definitely get in contact with me for that. Um, so you can get on the iGo platform. It's free, absolutely free, to get on side on this platform. So uh, the next piece is you would get your airport code. So you click on here. Say I'm going to be traveling out of Phoenix. So that's PHX, and then I want to go to Orlando, and I'll get that airport code, which is going to be MCO. So I have those two airport codes. I'll come to my iGo platform. And the reason why I like to use this platform. Uh, because not only do, can I book everything on here, it gives me reward credits for everything that I book. Not only do I get record, reward credits on this site, I also get reward credits for my frequent flyer points on the, on the frequent flyer programs that I fly, on the airlines that I fly, and I also get the points that are with my credit card itself. So I can get all three points for booking the same trip. So I'll put in my airport code, Phoenix, and then MCO. I put in my dates, might be a little far out for this since we're booking way in advance, but we're going to see if they're there. But then I'll search the flights. So now I've gotten, I've gotten Google searches. They, it's shown me that those are the best dates. You know, my averages, those are going to be the best days to fly from because I'm going on a crew on specific dates with that cruise on specific dates, then I'm gonna book these dates either way. But then I'll come to iGo and I'll search for the, those, spe those specific airport codes and then I'll pull up that list of flights and this is where I'll actually book my flight. So I use, the, my, I use Google as my research and pricing point tool. So I'll, I'll book everything with, or I'll search everything, research everything with Google, have, that, have them track my flight until I get, so they'll let you know when the prices go up and down, they'll track it through the entire time of when you get ready to book. And then I'll actually come in the, into my iGo site and actually book that here. So now Google says average was gonna be 334. I go, we're looking at about 350, but I'm also gonna get those bonus rewards points. So I'm good with that. And this is, and then the price can fluctuate between now and then as well. So then I pick my flights that I want and I go on through booking just like you would book on any other website. So I'm booking this all prepared off of my cruise that I'm going to go on later uh, on in August 23rd next year. So um, that's also why I use iGo because I can book more than just flights. I can book everything that I need 
inside of iGo for any of my travel needs. So definitely wanted to come in, give a quick tip on using Google to, that's how I track and search and quote prices for flights. That's how I get the averages and I get them very quickly. Um, this is what I use when anybody asks me about flights. I'm using Google Flights to give you a quick quote and then you can go on iGo and actually book that flight. Um, there'll be a bunch of different flights, but I use this to have people to track their prices you know, and that will go straight to your, your Gmail. Uh, once you sign in with your profile, they'll track that and they'll email you whenever the prices change. So that is the main focus that I wanted to come in and give that quick tip. I hope this helps you in booking your next flight. And I hope, you know, if you don't have the iGo platform, definitely get in touch with me so I can get you set up with this platform for free. So I definitely hope everybody enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.